Let's simplify the fraction 11 tenths. And here's how we do that. So for 11 tenths, we're trying to find a common factor, something that goes into both 11 and 10 evenly. And when I look at 11 over 10, actually the only thing that's going to go into both 11 and 10 evenly is one. So we can divide 11 by one. That gives us 11. Divide 10 by one. That gives us 10. So we're right back where we started. What that means is that the fraction 11 tenths, it's already simplified. We can't reduce this any further. Do note that 11 tenths is an improper fraction. It's because the numerator is larger than the denominator. So we could change that to a mixed number. Let's do that. 10 goes into 11 one time with one left over, bring the denominator across, and 11 tenths, that's equal to 1 and 1 tenths. We can check that. 1 times 10 is 10. 10 plus 1 is 11. There's our 11. And we just keep the denominator the same. But in answer to our original question, the fraction 11 tenth, it's already simplified. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.